Yo guys, welcome to Shine Gaming. Nexus Blitz is finally coming back. It was just released on the PBE and it's still a work in progress. Although they have made a couple of changes. As you can immediately see, they've changed the look of the map. It is now set in an Ionian forest where they're still thinking of a nice name for it. But I like the kind of red and green theme around the map and the saturation levels are really nice. They've also added some new game modes and updated some of the old ones as well as some new reward. And in this video, I'm going to show you what they are as well as a reminder on some of the old events and rewards in case you've forgotten because it has been a long time. In DPS check, which is one of the new events, a Teemo dummy will spawn somewhere on the map and that's before I think if you're at a disadvantage it will spawn closer on your side and if you're ahead uh, closer on the enemy side. Whoever gets the most damage in the timer that they have which you can see on the top of the screen. Originally I thought it might be kind of like a hairdresser where everyone's kind of sitting in a row and you're facing the enemy. Okay, I don't know what sort of hairdressers I've been going to. But essentially you're facing them while you're trying to hit the Teemo as much as you possibly can, poor Teemo. But instead they kind of went for one dummy. I'm not really sure how I feel about this game mode because it, it's just essentially a team fight simulator. I haven't seen a game yet where everyone's just focused on the Teemo. Instead people are obviously trying to kill each other. So maybe that's a change they'll make in the future. The next new game mode is called Protect. The Soraka, as you can see, they've spelt it with two C's at the end. I love the memes. But essentially, each team spawns a Soraka, which will spam emotes as well as heal you, which is nice. And the aim is to kill the enemy Soraka as fast as possible. Now, one of the Bardo Royale events that I never really came across was the Juggernaut version, where during the fight for survival in the Flaming Circle, one random teammate gains a huge amount of health and they get the on-fire buff. And in case you've forgotten, that gives you bonus attack speed, adaptive power, mana energy regen, but you're more vulnerable to damage as well. But the one you see right now is the Paranoia version, where essentially everyone has been altered by Nocturne in some sense, and you can't use pings as well which is really sad. Then we have one of the most chaotic random events which is Earth Deathmatch is a best of three team fighting with each other with the Earth cooldowns. Then we have Push the Cart and there's two versions of this event. One is where both of the teams have a cart that they can control and the first to blow up the enemy's structure first wins. And then the second is the classic one where you're escorting one cart to the enemy's team and the other team can obviously try to push you off the area so that they can control it and then move it towards your own structures to win the event. And in case we've been beating up teamers way too much in this game mode, we also have Loot Vega in addition to Loot Teemo, or you can call it Loot Vega. I don't mind whichever pronunciation you want to use. But essentially auto attacking any of them will grant you gold and whoever gets the last hit wins the event. And Vega slash Vega can use Dark Matter and Event Horizon while running away as well. Then we have the good old prize fight where you have two rounds of 2v2s and then a final 1v1 at the end. But I think if I remember correctly from last time we had Nexus Blitz, there may have been some events where at the end it was 2v1 because the team who had two players actually yeah, had two players left still. But I may be imagining that, I'm not sure. And then we have King of the Hill, which is pretty much like a conquest match in Battlefield, or, well, I guess a lot of games have this sort of event, where you stand in a circle and over time you will capture it unless someone else comes in the circle. Uh, well, I mean an enemy player. And then we have Scuttle Racing, where both of your teams will spawn one of those Rift Scuttlers, and you want to get yours to the finish line as quick as possible. And to do that, you will attack the enemy's scuttler and when it dies, it kind of stays in spot for a while. So in that time, yours can go a bit further ahead. But you can also use abilities on it, such as Cho'Gath, Stomp, to also delay it or to troll your own team if you want to be mean. Oh, that's a nice little rhyme. So yeah, I feel like a lot of these game modes are just kind of catalysts for team fights. It would be nice if the DPS check one was an individual thing and like it adds up the DPS of your team against the other people's teams. That would be kind of more like a sports day sort of event, which would be nice. So the only new reward seems to be the Elder Dragon, where you can execute enemies under a specified health threshold. And I think this lasts for three minutes because with the other drakes, such as the Mega Ocean and Mega Cloud Drake, it also lasts last three minutes and in the ocean one you get health mana energy regen when you deal damage and for the cloud one team gets huge out of combat movement speed and cooldown reduction on ultimates there's also guardian angels which gives you ga effect for one minute and a half and static shock which is basically what static shock does for three minutes one of my favorites is obviously the catapult of champions because from your base you can pretty much go anywhere on the map although i think it grows the range as time goes on which is what usually happens in summoners rift earth and of course there's the terrifying blessing of Blitzcrank, where whichever team that wins the award gets a Blitzcrank hook on their turrets, their siege minions, and their super minions for the rest of the game. And my absolute favorite reward is the battle sled, where at the base spawns a sled, and whoever gets on it first can control its directions, and anyone else on your team can jump on whenever. And over time, it gets faster, and you can usually say choo choo because you're a train, 
and just smash into people and then spam your emotes really fun then there's bf shields where each teammate gains a large shield until it is broken and the poor king which we saw earlier that does exactly what the poor king does normally breathing fire and healing you periodically and then the very final event that happens at 18 minutes because the nexus has just had enough you're taking too long to end the game and it's got to go have some food so your nexus if this isn't bugged which i'm sure they'll fix it soon each team's nexus will come out of its base and walk towards the center and you've got to kill the enemy nexus by literally attacking it as if it's a fight but in this particular instance their nexus was just gone completely vanished we have no idea where it went in different uh, matches it actually did appear so it must be some random thing i don't know if it's a troll or just a random bug that occasionally occurs but yeah eventually it turns out their nexus had spawned literally behind our turret for whatever reason and it just couldn't move and yeah it was pretty pretty op uh definitely not a fair game like this but yeah okay i hope i didn't miss anything out that should be all the events and rewards but if i have missed anything please let me know in the comments and hope you enjoyed this video leave a like for timo because timo does really get destroyed in this game mode and i kind of feel bad for him now but yeah subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next one adios